today I'm on my way to go pick up some mail and after that I'm going to the coin store to pick up my quota. Um, I wanted to get at least 10 ounces of silver before the end of um, October. Unfortunately, I had to push it um, a little later in the um, in November, which I have opportunity to get it now. But um, hopefully, I can get more than ten uh, pieces of silver. So we're going to follow me today. So you'll see exactly what I picked up. But first, we're going to the post office because I just got a coin ring order, and I received the email today letting me know that. It is in the P.O. box. So here we go to one of my favorite post office. I like it because it's quick and easy and not that far away from my home. So let's go ahead and pick up this piece of silver. Now, usually um, I do coin rings um, with the coins I have in my possession. But sometimes I give my subscribers an opportunity to send me something uh, maybe they have a particular coin that they want to make to a ring so this is what they do i say hey send it to my p.o box it's jt coin rings at p.o box 66219 1800 northern parkway baltimore maryland 21239 and guess what you can send your coin to me um, that will uh, make the service cheaper and all you have to do is pay for um, my labor and shipping and handling. So that's what I have right here. So now, now that I picked up the mail, we'll see exactly what coin that is as soon as I get to my next destination, um, which is my favorite place to shop at least once a month, which is Harford Coin. All right, guys, I got some mail today. So I'm going to open that up. Hope everyone is having a great day. And let's see what's inside of this package. I just got the email stating that it was here. Muchos gracias. Thank you so much. You know, I'm trying to learn Spanish. Um, I had 300 and 65 days on Duolingo. Um, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, I still can't speak a complete sentence probably, but at least I'm understanding some of the words. <laughs> but it's my daily homework assignment, like five to 10 minutes worth of Duolingo. <laughs> so I appreciate this right here. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. All right. So what we have here is stating that hi jt size seven um you side with date can you save the wreath okay all right i may have to block that out uh, thanks cool lettering on worm hate to cut this one it's a beautiful coin let's see all right so this coin here all right, so we have here Republica de Guatemala, 1926. It's a beautiful coin. It's the first time um, me seeing a coin like this. And he wants me to make this a size seven. And you have the reefs that he wants to be protected. I love that center as well. I'd like to do some history, um, learn some history on this coin because we see here that there are some dates. Um, I looked up the coin on Cornerscope, and this is what I found out. Let's check it out. All right, so we see that um, this coin, as I said, is from Guatemala, Republic of Guatemala, 1925 to 1948. Okay. Um, Guatemalan um, Kuzel. I um, hope I pronounced that correctly. It's a coin type. It's a circulation coin. 
All right, the melt value is about $6.50 USD. Um, the years, 1926 to 1949. The, the composition is silver, it's 72% silver. You have edge type, lettered. Edge description, Republica D, Guatemala, America, Central. Okay, you have the shape, which is round, as we know. Um, the weight of the coin is 8.33 grams. Diameter is 27 millimeters. And thickness is 1.7 millimeters. Okay. So as you see here, there's some other coins that this app helps me find. Um, they tell you the year. Um, I'm sorry, the years, the mint years on this side and uncirculated how much I believe it would um, be worth and condition, depending on the condition. Okay. So it's a pretty cool app. I like this app. This right here is the um, Cornoscope app. Let me bring this back a little bit. As you see, this phone's about to die. But, <laughs> but this is the Cornoscope app. And this is how I look up the information on some of these coins that I pick up. Let's see this. Estimate value. You go here. And this is going to show me how much other people on eBay are selling this coin for. I always like to know this just in case I have to get a second coin. All right, so we see this coin ranges from $6.50, which may be the, um, as you saw, the melt value. And there we go. It goes as high as $36 I've seen, $55 some people are selling it for. It's good to know. This is a beautiful coin. Um, he stressed to me that <laughs> he actually loved this coin and he really hate to part from it um, and making it a ring, but um, this is the one he sent me. And I'm gonna do my best to take care of it and take my time with this process to make it a beautiful ring that he would be proud of um, and it helps him to not to regret his decision. Once again, this is 72% gold, sorry, 72% silver. I'm, a, I'm stepping above myself here. And as we see on this coin, one thing I want you to recognize that I see is how, un, you know, the lettering, you know, and I kind of look at the thickness of the coin and certain parts seem um, by the naked eye lower than you know, this is probably the age of the coin, but it says, I think I remember it saying 1.7. It says it's 1.7 millimeters. You know, as we see here, that's very thin. So it will be a very thin ring, okay? Size seven, I would have to take my time and make sure that I stretch it, but take my time 72% silver means that it has other metals that kind of makes it a little hard. Um, but you still want to take your time because it is a thin band. It will be a thin band, a nice light band. So we'll see. All right, guys, stay tuned. I just wanted to do this unboxing of this coin because it just came to me um, came to my attention it was in my in my um, p.o box so i checked it out okay let's go to the next thing went to the coin store so let's check out what i have inside the bag okay all right this is my receipt I have my records of what i've got i have some silver in there and some silver right there Okay, let's check this out. All right, first the constitutional silver. Um, I picked up 
a beautiful 1958 90% silver quarter. Okay. I have here a 1936 Walk in Liberty. I also have a 1964, a beautiful JFK half dollar. Also, one of my favorites, 1957 Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Look at that relief, how, you know, his portrait like lifts from the coin. It's a lot different from the JFK. It's not as profound. Okay, I also purchased a 1964 quarter. Okay. And a host of five dimes. These are some Roosevelt's and I also have, I think some Mercs as well, let me see. So in that I have some, some Mercs, the Roosevelt's. So I think I have five dimes, there we go. There we go, five dimes there. Right? Oh, six dimes. One was hiding. Okay. And I purchased a 2022 American Silver Eagle. All right. Absolute beauty here. All right. Let's see what we have inside the capsule. Okay. There uh, we go. We have some silver there. Now, my last visit to the coin store, I purchased three um, half ounce. So we have this one here. And we have the American Silver Eagle half ounce round. 0.999 fine silver. Okay. Got a couple of these. Also have some indigenous American rounds. The buffalo rounds here. That's 0.999 fine silver. There we go. So now I have 20 half ounce rounds to fit inside my cassette. The other three I'll put in there later on. I had to come go back and get it. I'm so happy my coin store still had these in stock. And you know at least one of these rounds, one of each, will be a coin ring. So guys, let me know if a coin ring is in your future. <laughs> There we go, beautiful silver round. Um, what I did was took some money and put away in cash for my emergency fund. And then I took almost close to $400 and put into silver just so I could finish my stack. Um, my goal was to do it in October, but it kind of spilled over in November. So then I'll be looking for November, I mean, December and the beginning of the year to my stacking goal, at least 10 ounces of silver. I have to slowly build up my stack, but I wanted to get generic silver, um, round and also constitutional to build my stack back up. Um, not so much premium silver, um, I think the American Silver Eagle is probably the biggest that I'll go right now. 
but like you know um last time i was buying the marvels and so much other silver and uh man i, I was paying so too much money so right now i'm trying to keep it simple cash reserves and also put some money away in some precious metals to build my for uh my fort back up as my friend eli said you have to build your army up and so this is what i'm doing now so I'll put that back in there beautiful silver um put that back on so this is what i purchased guys check it out the silver constitutional and also i finished i'll put the other three which will make 20 pieces of half ounce silver rounds and i'll see what i get on my next run so thank you guys today we looked at what i got um, in the mail um, my next corn ring um, and also you see what my silver pickups were for um, today hope you enjoyed it leave a comment and make sure you subscribe and share guys i'll see you on the next one